Ash Williams, you know, a uh, champ, champ in Polaris, buddy. How's that feel? Uh, it's a um, unreal feeling, to be honest. Um, I always think about this, like when I drive around or when I go to the gym or when I teach. Uh, like people ask me, like, ah, oh, like, would well, you compete against this guy? Would you compete against that guy? And like, these are all guys who are like unreal, you know. Yeah. And I step them up with any single one of them. But then I always find it surreal that people think that I am of the same stature as them, you know. Like, it's a crazy feeling to wake up and people expect you to beat these guys who are literally yeah. the top ten in the world. And I just go, yeah, okay, I'll give it a go. And I don't ever expect miracles for myself, you know. I just want to go out there and, and show what I can do. And if my performance is good enough and I get the win, excellent. If it's not, as I say to my students, you're welcome to try as well, yeah. you know. So it's always a surreal feeling because I feel like I keep competing against the best in the world. And I do quite well. Um, and then they go, well, this is the next level. And I go, okay, look, cool, let's do that next level then. And I seem to be able to step up to it, you know. So... Um, maybe my ceiling will come one day, uh, but not, not this day. So. Not, not today? No, not today, no. And you finished that fight with a nasty armbar, buddy. Can you talk us through that? S snap the arm, it seemed to be, and y yeah, how, how bad was that? No, it, def it definitely, something went. I don't know what went, but like, it, it, it was like when I've, I've, I've crunched a few to like feet and toe holds, and it, it felt a bit like that, you know, like, I really wish uh, Richard the, the, the speediest of recoveries. He's such a nice guy, such, such a down-to-earth guy, like, do you mean? And, and it was so grateful him for taking the match with me at such short notice. Uh, but he's game, you know, and he, he's definitely, um, he's a dark horse for a long time. People haven't given respect that they should have. Uh, and last time that punished me, you know, this time it didn't because I knew what he was coming to do, I knew what he was capable of. Yeah. So um, I definitely feel like if you don't know who Rich Larkon is and you feel like that was an easy match, uh, you, you need to look at your jiu-jitsu, you know, yeah. because that guy's, he's legit. legit. He talks to the setup to that armbar as well. Yeah, so he shoots like a low double. He does quite often. Like he's 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 quite a, like a fast-paced wrestler. He shoots like low and hard, uh, like quite arms outreach, like to grab both your ankles. And uh, basically, when he shot, I, I I knew from last time I was like trying to hip him off and sprawl him off and do front headlock stuff last time. Uh, so I worked a lot on my kimura trap this time. So I went for the kimura. Uh, I rolled him with the kimura, um, expecting to actually take his back. To be honest, that was the game plan to get to his back. Uh, I didn't expose the back, he went flat, so I switched to, um, my brother calls it a J-plat, uh, after his own name actually, which is <laughs> hilarious, but I switched to uh, a, an, uh, uh, like an Oma Plata style um, setup with the legs to get the armbar finish, uh, so I was very happy with it, and I don't catch many armbars, so I was really happy to get the, the victory in this fashion. Yeah. Uh, did it mean even more to do it in your home country of Wales as well? Uh, I actually, I, not I don't enjoy competing in the UK, but it's... It's always more of an event, you know, like everyone around you every single day. You can't just walk in the gym yeah. and just do your own routine, you know. Everyone's like, how are you feeling? How's your weight? How's yeah. this? How's this? That? And I'm like, ah, oh, lad, like, it's just a match. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just a match. Like, you can say world champion or, or whatever you want to and, and, and players or this or that. And they're all massive promotions and they're all brilliant, um, which I'm so grateful for. But to me, it's just a jiu-jitsu match. Yeah. Like, I do it day in, day out. I love it. And I absolutely, I do genuinely love jiu-jitsu, you know. So I want to do as much of it as I can every single day. And when I compete at home, I get a lot more like interruptions in my routine. When yeah. I go away to like California or something to compete, I just get to chill out for a week, ten days with my family or my brother or free holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, free holiday, which I've got to compete and cut weight that yeah. you know what I mean. But yeah, so that's you know, that's the plan really is um I'll compete at home whenever I can and I love the support. But it, it does it, I had to like this week I had to like keep bringing it down in my head. Yeah. I had to keep going, No, don't worry man, like if if you go you lose, they're not gonna you know, they're not gonna give you like people aren't gonna give you a hard time, people are gonna be disappointed in you, yeah. you know what I mean? Because that's the thing, I don't wanna disappoint people and when I go away I never get that feeling. When I can be yeah. here, the overwhelming yeah. feeling of disappointing my teammates no, or my pressure. staff. Yeah, it is it's a big one, you know, because I don't like to let people down. Yeah. And um, lastly then you've got two belts wrapped around you now. Do you think they're gonna get you uh, ranked in that top ten um, with this win? I, I highly doubt I'll, I'll get ranked off the back of this match. Uh, I hope I do, only because I just want the tougher matches, you know. Yeah. Like when you get higher ranked and you get a higher status in the world, then you can you can demand better matches, and that's all I'm really after, you know. I just want the toughest guys all the time, yeah. and it doesn't matter what what promotion, division, rule set. I just want to compete. Yeah. I just want to compete, man. So you know, like Flo, put me in the rankings, get me up there. Because it's where, it's where I deserve to be. It's where I deserve to be, you know. And, and then give me the guys up there as well. And if they beat me, knock me back off. That's fine by me, you know. But from what I've done, I believe I deserve to be there, you know. Yeah. Well, congrats on the win tonight, buddy. Thank you very and much. I will afford cash.